Hi, I'm Royce Augustin. I'm here today to work with Kenny. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I've been bowling for about 18 years. I started when I was about 17. Uh, I've been bowling pretty much ever since. Uh, in 2006, I got certified as a United States Bowling Congress or USBC bronze level coach. Uh, in 2008 and 2009, I bowled for the San Jose State Bowling Team. And in 2011 and 2012, I helped coach them. Uh, I also teach the bowling classes, beginning bowling classes at San Jose State, and I've been doing that since 2010. All right, so today what I'll be talking about is try to, uh, doing a couple of drills where you can work on rhythm between your lower body and upper body, your footwork and your arm swing. Uh, so today I'm just going to show a couple of the drills. The first drill I'm going to show, uh, what we just do is just kind of grab the ball and just walk up instead of setting up. Um, just what you're looking for in this particular drill is uh, is a natural rhythm, all right? Usually, a lot of times when people are starting out, they feel like they need to set up and just, um, they have to work hard or, you know, they have to really think about needing to be in the right stance and the right spot on the approach. But when this particular drill, what this is going to do is just allow you to feel the rhythm of your body and just let you um, be rhythmic along with your arm swing. So it's, it involves not setting up. You just grab the ball, you start walking up on the approach, and at a particular point where you start feeling comfortable, then you want to start your arm swing. And what you're looking for is you're looking for your feet to be following your arm swing, as opposed to the other way around. All right, in a lot of ways, a lot of, a lot of times people say you want your feet to follow your arm swing. And so that's what this is going to help with. Um, so things to look out for in this particular thing, uh, you want to have a nice relaxed arm swing. Uh, you want to try to start off walking at a casual pace so that you're not running up to the line. Try to take smaller steps so that you can feel the rhythm a little bit better. And uh, you want to make sure that that arm swing is nice and free. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that. All right. So like I said, I'm gonna do, all I'm going to do is just walk up on the line. I'm not trying to look at a particular target. I'm just trying to uh, get an idea of how to feel. All right. Um, so. I just walk up here, just start walking up. I don't even have my hand in the ball yet. Once I get to about this position, that's when I start, start the approach. So, so what I'm looking for there is just to be able to feel um, a nice rhythm and a nice timing. Uh, when I'm at the line, what I'm looking for is just a solid finish so that I can um, so that I just uh, so I'm not falling off my shot. All right. A lot of times people talk about posting your shot, talk about sticking your shot. That's what I'm looking out for. Just a nice even balance. So this next drill that I'll be demonstrating is a tape drill. Uh, this drill is to help you visualize and see the line that you should be playing on the lane. Um, hitting your target is probably the most important factor in, when you're throwing your shots. Uh, if you don't have a target that you're aiming at, how do you know whether or not you're throwing the right line. So this particular uh, drill is to help you be a little bit more accurate as far as uh, trying to hit a specific target. If you go ahead and look out there, you can see there's a couple pieces of tape. Uh, the first piece of tape is over here about 15 feet past the foul line. Uh, that's over at the arrows. Uh, in general, people normally look out there. That's usually the, uh, the, the favorable, favorable spot to, to aim, right around the arrows. It gives you a nice uh, a place to, to aim. It's closer, it's closer than the pins, it's easier to hit, so that's a good place to start. Uh, so that's basically what we're going to be looking for right now. Now if you can't put tape out there because the proprietor is like really, you know, iffy about you going out there and putting tape on the lanes, you can always just pick a target on the lanes, like the second arrow, and, uh, and use that as a means of trying to hit a target. But in this particular case, what this gives me is an audible, right, I'm trying to hear a, a thump when I hit it. If I don't hear a thump, it means I might have missed it. All right, so this is definitely something that'll help you out a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a roll. All right, so before I um, start this drill, what I wanna do is figure out about where I wanna stand. So uh, based on everything that I've done as far as like work on my particular game, I know that I wanna stand four boards to the right of my intended target. Now my intended target in this particular uh, drill right now, where the tape is, is about eight boards, or it's at eight boards. So for me, I gotta stand four boards to the right of eight. 
That's one, two, three, four. That's what I'm going to do to line up for that. All right, so um, like I said, in this particular drill, I'm looking for an audible. I'm, not, I'm looking to hear the ball roll over that piece of tape. Now, uh, if I execute properly and do everything right, I should be able to hear that audible. So I actually heard that audible that time, so I hit the piece of tape in the front. It's exactly what I wanted to hear. Right, that tells me that I'm lined up good, I threw the ball pretty good. Uh, it's a good, good tip for right there. So uh, when I do this particular drill, I don't want to use a reactive ball. I try to use a plastic ball, and the reason why is because the plastic ball doesn't cheat. Uh, reactive resin equipment, they have a tendency to, to hook a little bit sooner, give you a little bit more room. With plastic equipment, it's a little harder surface. It's gonna skid down the lane, so it's gonna force you to actually make a shot so you're not getting back to the pocket. Another thing I wanna uh, tell you guys is that you do not want to shoot for your strike. You just wanna hear the tape. That, that's the purpose of this tape drill. It's not to, not to get a strike. It, uh, eventually, it'll lead to that. But what it's supposed to do is help you with your accuracy. So remember, when you're doing this specific drill, uh, just focus on rolling over the tape. That's what's the important part, not getting a strike. 